And so they're doing more and more ceremony <coughs> on what is called the morphogenetic grid. And I know many of you have heard of this before. The Earth is very much like a body. Just like you have a chakra system and you have the meridians that come out of the chakra system, the Earth has energy centers and, and uh, ley lines that come out of the energy centers and crisscross like a, a grid or a matrix. And on certain places where they intersect, there is a powerful energy vortex created. And that grid or that matrix of energy around the Earth is called the morphogenetic grid. And the reason the word genetic is in it is because it resonates to the occupants of the planet. So that there's a connection between the energy of the Earth and the energy of the humans or creatures that live on it creating an interlocking, interlocking unit called morphogenetic grid. If you place, if you're a chiropractor or an acupuncturist or acupressure, and you press a certain point of the body, you are actually affecting other parts of the body that are connected to that pressure point. Same on the earth. If you perform a ceremony or create an energy pressure point at a specific part of the Earth's morphogenetic grid, you will then affect all the other parts of the Earth that you want to connect with. They perform their ritual and ceremony on such locations. For example, the pyramids of Egypt are located on a very big center point on the morphogenetic grid. Montauk is located at the edge of a morphogenetic grid. This point here in Montauk, Long Island connects to Land's End in England, there's a direct connection. And when Aleister Crowley did his magical, or sexual magical rituals in Land's End, it connected directly to Montauk Point. Montauk Point is also part of the old Atlantean civilization. And it is in fact the top of a mountain chain that connects all the way down to the Caribbean Ocean. And the Montauk Indians leader, they called a pharaoh. In fact, the name of the Montauk princess, her last name is Pharaoh. And of course, that is related to the kings in Egypt, which then fall back to their common ancestor in the Atlantean time period. And in fact, up until the early part of this century, you could see the tops of pyramids along the beaches in Montauk Point which have subsequently been covered up. In fact, the town of Montauk is located directly over a gigantic underground pyramid, which the government was very interested in accessing because of the technology that is inside of it. Basically, the control group, the Illuminati, is interested in mind controlling the entire population. Because let's face it, there's only a few thousand of them. There's just not enough armies in the world that can control that size of a population. So the best way to do it is through mind control. And that's where the Montauk Project came into being, because it enabled them to test and develop specific mind control devices and techniques that were able to be put out into the public. And that's one of the things I was involved in at the time. When they do their rituals, it's on specific dates that mean something to them. Generally, it coincides with the full moon. One of their greatest holidays occurs on what you would call Halloween. That is a very important date for the reptilians. And that's where Halloween got the, the reputation of having ghosts and goblins and, and weird things happening because that was a ceremony that they performed every October 31st. And recently, if you can recall, what incident occurred on Halloween that involved the deaths of a couple of hundred people in an instant? Actually, Egypt Air 990. Okay. That was part of a ritual ceremony slaughter. And where did that happen? Not far from Montauk Point.